Um, you fell off of, dude. You almost broke your ankles. No, I'm always fine. No, but you, if Mike didn't catch you, Mike's got me. <laughs> if Mike didn't catch you, dude. You were in your booties. Your ankles would have been snapped. Everyone was replying to the story, dude. Two broken wrists. More like she needs to be in a wheelchair. Her ankles are broken. <laughs> dude, I was saying the day, that day, I was like, that. I get, I get down, but I get up again. Mm-hmm. I never, ever, ever get hurt. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water P-Dubs. We got a tall can, 10% ABV malt beverage. It comes in four delicious flavors. We have Miami Vice, Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, and Margarita. If you haven't tried it yet, don't know what you're waiting for. It's under $2, gets you absolutely fucked up. It tastes super good. And like I said, under two bucks. So if you haven't tried it, I don't know what you're waiting for. You can go to thedrinkpiratewater.com to find Pirate Water in a location near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. Follow and tag at Pirate Water in your posts for a chance to be reposted. We love seeing you guys drink on what we're drinking on. So make sure to tag us and we'll repost you. Let's get into this episode brought to you by Pirate Water. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We're sick as dogs. I'm so sick of making me seriously sad. <laughs> I can't stop sleeping. What about you? I can't stop sleeping. I got ear infections and I am fucking got to take care of that dog right there. She's like a, a pre-trial mama. Mm-hmm. She must uh, try out how mama be like when you're, you're sick and mama's sick too. And she just got to stand up and be strong for her. Oh, so. it's going to be a long one, huh? This... <laughs> There's a dog. <laughs> There's a dog over here named hey, Boston sleeping. Rats. And you know, it's like, wow, when you're a mom, you have to put all of your feelings aside, even when your toilet explodes and you're shitting your pants, because that's what I came home to from Chicago. My toilet broken and there's shit everywhere. You were on a private jet last night with your animals. That's kind of cool. Tell me about that. That was cool, but I came home to <laughs> shit everywhere, mm. like physically all over me because she'd be shitting all over me. And then and I this was is like, the Boston girl. Yeah, she's a baby, though. It happens. And then I come <laughs> home and I'm like, I have to shit as well. Mm-hmm. And, but I open my toilet black to the brim. Mm. Backed up. Backed up. You go, is that you think that's your own shit or like somebody else's shit? Well, I left it. No shit in it. Came back shit in it. So I don't know if people be shitting in it or what's going on. I don't like that. I know. Bad. Next subject. I know. It's like pretty gross. <laughs> I'm wicked sorry for issues. And, and we're. It's like almost like we switched luck. Oh, I know. We did switch luck a little bit. Because my house was supposed to be flooded when I got home. Dude. By okay. the grace of my luck. Of grace is <laughs> luck. It was supposed to be flooded. I was so stressed out for Grace. So there was really bad flooding in New York over the weekend. And uh, we were still in Chicago. All of the flights were like getting canceled. People couldn't get back to New York. And I was stoked when I got canceled because I did not want to go back. I know. <laughs> I, I just was, wanted to chill out. I was about to go to the airport and I was like, I'll just go to Oklahoma for the weekend. And thank God I did because if I went to the airport, it would have got canceled. Mm. Fucking lame, huh? Yeah. I know. Except it was actually sick. Yeah, scored big time. You stayed in Chicago I, and slept. Yeah, I just slept. I've been sleeping since Friday. <laughs> yeah, no, we, it's not a chitty. Okay, so when we <laughs> used to do the college tours, we would get sick after each stop because mm-hmm. it was so, um, it was like the, we would get the college frat flus. Yeah. I didn't think at this one we would really get some mm-hmm. sickness. I also kept saying, I'm not going to be, uh, this, is, this ain't a drinking tour. Uh, I got friggin' wasted. It was awesome, though. Uh, I've never gotten so wasted in so long, but it was a fun party. Dude, um, <laughs> Josh Gallo said to me, he said, I have never seen you so drunk in my whole life. I'm like, really? Yeah, it was insane. Lights on, no one's home. Zach, apparently. Zach looked at me and said, there was one point in the night where I looked at your eyes and I said, oh, my God, this is going to be bad. And mm. I was like, not your eyes, my eyes. Uh-huh. So I was curious. Yeah. Um, and I guess <laughs> hey, you don't know me that well. And buddy. I guess me, me and you were uh, looking at each other and everyone was going, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> really? No. No. We were talking in tongues and oh. nothing was making sense. We were making sense of us, probably. Well, we drank, I personally drank a bottle of wine before we got on stage, then drank a bottle of wine on stage. We took shots on stage. Mm-hmm. We were blacked out when we got off stage. Mm-hmm. Then we went to the Chicago bar after mm-hmm. the Barstool bar, wasted, went into a secret lair in the basement, wasted. That was crazy. And my to another party. Yes. Bar. Wasted. Wasted. And we ate a lot of shrimps from a lady that gave it to us. Yeah, that was a, that was like a, ooh, remember that in the morning. <laughs> I know. Um, but it was so fun. We were so, so excited because Chicago went so well. Yeah, dude, it was, I, I was very, we were ecstatic about it. Dude, we got to tell the story of your thing ripping right before we went on stage. Oh, yes. It was insane. Do you want to want to tell us? No, you can start it off. Okay. Great. Grace is not doing too well. <laughs> um, we'd probably do a lot of the talk this episode. <laughs> Um, fucking, all right, we're about to go on. It's, we're supposed to go on at 7.30. It's like 7.15 and one of our sponsors, OxyShred, they came and they wanted to talk to us. So they come in the green room. I didn't know how to explain that on stage. Yeah. I was trying to say like, yeah, like the, the, 
the sponsor people were co- exactly like, yeah. like just like what's going on now um <laughs> so there are sponsors and uh, they wanted to come talk to us before the show and just say hi and introduce themselves because they're um an australian brand so we haven't got to meet them in person and they come in um this girl natalie nat shout out nat she was talking to me and she's like yeah uh talking about the brand we're talking and i'm trying to stall because i'm like i know grace is in the bathroom in the green room i'm like she's gonna be coming out any second any second now grace is gonna be coming out i hear ah! in the fucking bathroom and then natalie was like all right well you guys have like five minutes before you go on so i'm gonna get out of here no that's not what happened what do Lie. you mean I poked my head out while I was naked and said, hi, guys, I've been trying to meet you this whole time. And then they left. <laughs> she was like, you have five. You never came back out, though. Yeah, no, but I wasn't screaming. Rah, 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 I heard you rah. screaming in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Natalie left. And then we had five minutes before we go on. Grace tries to come out. Her zipper is jammed. Yeah. Go on. Tell about your outfit. <laughs> yeah, my my my. My thing was jammed, and um, of course it was because I have really bad luck, and I couldn't stop crying. And it was literally five to ten minutes until we were supposed to go out, and I just couldn't stop crying. And it was a really bad experience. And um, people were coming in saying, "I'll run to Norwich to Rock and get you something to wear." I go, "They don't have those toys." I was being a monster. <laughs> That's fair. It was really um, sad. It was really awful. I was trying to guide her with peace, love, and happiness. You gave good energy, bro. Uh, I was trying to <laughs> help her. We, I kept saying, "Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay." In my head, I'm like, "Oh my god, this is broken." Like this it wasn't. Is, it was really bad. The fabric was like twisted all the way in the zipper, and I'm like, "Dude, this is fucking crazy." Because <laughs> She literally has no clothes with her. What the fuck are we going to do? We're going on in five minutes. <laughs> Dave's here. We can't start 30 minutes late. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know what to do. We literally have five seconds. So we were trying to pull it. And I was like, all right, we just got to pull this fucking thing. So I thought the zipper would come out. Zipper busted off. Yeah, zipper busted off. And, and She had and, a jumpsuit on. So the zipper was from her boobs to like her hip. Mm-hmm. On I mean, the side. <laughs> Bri was like, yeah, I broke it. I said, it's going to be all right. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fine. I said, I need safety That's pins. That's when I started stat. going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was doing surgery. So I said, okay, we have two <laughs> options. I need scissors and a shoelace <laughs> and I need safety pins. I was Diego gonna, took a shoelace off I was off like, of get out there shoe. and get me a shoelace. <laughs> Fucking our producer, Diego, took a shoelace off. He's like, oh my God, you get it back. <laughs> and I was going to cut holes and lace her up. And then I was like, okay, we can do with safety <laughs> pins. And it ended up looking, you looked um, baller. It was fire. But I was really stressed because I was like, you can't pee. Yeah, no, no pee in was allowed. Um, thank God I didn't pit. Well, I couldn't have peed if I wanted to. I was on stage. I know. So, so it was perfect. You, perfect. you made that uh, a beautiful stylist. Yeah, you looked great. It was fantastic. Fantabulous. But then you got off stage and, and had to immediately naked. piss. Yeah, I just too. got I ran naked. Off stage. And um, I had to take all the, it was the worst because I had to take all the bobby pins off and I was like, there must have been 30 bobby pins. So I'm kidding. I think they were safety pins. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> fuck it. And, um, so I take those off and then I was like, oh God, now I don't have an outfit to wear to the bar. And what show. did you end up wearing? Oh, I wore the the beautiful um, gray. I don't know who decided that our tour shirts were going to be gray because mm-hmm. they are disgusting <laughs> on Grace. They're disgusting well, Grace on Grace. Grace gets wet, so we should have picked a dark <laughs> color so Grace's wetness couldn't shine through her gray shirt. Mm-hmm. You just don't wear gray when you're Grace. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. Uh, um, and But you also wore your panties. Oh yeah, so um, I did. I so I, wore, I started off with the jumpsuit. Uh, I saw uh, I saw this paparazzi video that somebody took of us going into the bar. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all the comments were, "It's so embarrassing. She must be so embarrassed having to walk around with Grace like that." I was like, "Dude, seriously, comments, that wasn't I've, my choice to wear all the that comments outfit." Comments on that video were, "Grace is my hero." Oh, I only you focus saw on one the bad, bad comment. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of mean men ones at the bottom. There was a lot of good ones at the top. <laughs> Anywho, um. Yeah, no, that wasn't my ideal thing to be wearing. Um, but you know, you must do it with what you have. Mm-hmm. And so, tour shirt, well, they looked jumper, like biker shorts. I'm not even there yet. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> so then we got in there, and I started getting shoisted, mm-hmm. real shoisted. And I said, "Fuck this! I'm hot." I took off my jumper pants, which were the broken jumper. Took off my jumper pants and just wore my Spanx. And I just kept going around in my in my my booty heels, my Spanx, and my gray wet shirt. It going up so- to people saying, because we were in the like the weird little basement room. Mm-hmm. I kept going up to like all like uh, coworkers and people I don't know. I was like, this is my mother's house. Thanks for coming to my mother's house. She said we have to be a little quiet because we're in the basement. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny. 
I wasn't being funny. I was being scary. <laughs> um, we realized, yeah, we kind of separated and just started saying weird things to people that <laughs> yeah. night. Uh, it was crazy because like when we when we hooked back up with everyone, they were like, what were you guys doing? We and that's when tell everyone you. was talking about. <laughs> they could see it in our eyes that we were no longer home. Mm-hmm. Dude, it was a fun party. We got really wasted. <laughs> it was a fun party. We got really wasted. We had so much fun. And then we were in that basement. Grace had her panties out. Um, I, I don't know. I was talking to people that shouldn't have been in the basement they snuck down to the mm. basement and i spent my time with them mm-hmm. instead of spending my time with my friends yes <laughs> i said oh, what are you guys doing out here <laughs> they were like i don't know someone let us down i was like okay <laughs> let's hang out this whole entire time because i can't stand up <laughs> so I, I sat with them the whole time i'm looking around i see grace and her pace <laughs> for one second i remember looking at you <laughs> and you were trying to there was like circles of people talking in this basement <laughs> and it's me glued to my chair talking to people that probably don't want to talk to me. And then you trying to go up to every circle. Mm-hmm. And you have the, a beer bottle in your hand with your thumb over the thing. And mm-hmm. you're just going into every circle, saying something. Everyone's still having their combos, walking away, <laughs> next circle. Walking away, next circle. So I was... I was sh- I, I, so I had this vivid memory that I was spraying <laughs> beer like it was a champagne, and I, I must have been were. doing that if my thumb was over. And I was just I was being respectful though. If they were in like a conversation, then I was not gonna spray my beer, <laughs> dude. It was crazy, and then that was the last really thing I recall. I hit the fish out the water. Don't you forget it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wish I saw that. I saw that. No, it's on TikTok. I saw the video, but I, I wish I saw that with my real eyes. I wish I didn't see it on TikTok. I was like, wow, mm-hmm. that really did happen. Yep. And then um, you fell off of, dude, you almost broke your ankles. No, I'm always fine. No, but you, if Mike didn't catch you. Mike's got me. <laughs> Mike didn't catch you. Dude, you were in your booties. Your ankles would have been snapped. Everyone was replying to the story. Dude, two broken wrists. More like she needs to be in a wheelchair. Her ankles are broken. <laughs> dude, I was saying the day, that day, I was like, that. I get I get down, but I get up again. Mm-hmm. I never, ever, ever get hurt. Yeah, yeah, no, just mentally. Just mentally. <laughs> physically, you are bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, physically I'm bulletproof. Dude, she'll fall hard. We were talking about this. She fell off a roof on <laughs> uh, onto her neck and she was fine. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I'd rather, I'd honestly rather get hurt when I fall than, uh, Fall mentally. I but I do the same thing. Once more debilitating. Fell down so many mountains. <laughs> fell off a golf cart on a mountain, which for some reason Zach and Dave were talking about. What? I don't know. He yeah, was like, "What were they talking about?" I don't know. I was trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm really um curious to see Dave's uh review He's, on oh, oh, on, on uh, fucking Zach, but. They were really seeming to hit it off. Yeah. They were two little best buds, I guess. I mean, what else are they going to do? They have to talk. They're sitting together. It's like, it's like, um, uncle is uncle D and, and boyfriend. Yeah. I is guess. your boyfriend making your uncle D? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they were talking about my falls too. Mm. And I was thinking we really are indestructible physically. Indestructible. Mentally so weak. So fucking weak. <laughs> Did we try? <laughs> Dude, I know. At least, you know, we're strong in that sense. But we had so much fun and we go to this bar at the end and Grace Irish goodbyes which never does she do yeah never and then i ask her in the morning what happened and i don't know if you recall we were pretty wasted in the morning but you go well there was a point where it's getting really hard to stand up <laughs> it was really hard to stand up <laughs> i couldn't stand up and i was trying to say things nothing was coming out of my mouth uh-uh. and then you said you walked outside and threw up and got home yeah <laughs> <laughs> things were tough yeah i don't really recall Going home, I think me, Connor, and Zach were the last three standing in that bar. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got back, and you got stuck in Chicago. Connor, Connor can drink, huh? Connor can drink, huh? <laughs> Connor's a maniac. Connor's out of his goddamn mind. It's awesome. maniac. Fibula is, um, in the most respectful, beautiful way, not a real person. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> he is not real. He is, like, when I think of him, I'm like... That's not a real fucking person. <laughs> Even the story he was telling on stage. Oh, morning, sweetheart. Hi, Boston. He was telling a story on stage where he was blacked out <laughs> at a bar and or not at a bar at a, a music awards or something. <clears throat> there was a lot of famous people there. And he was having this conversation with a country singer. And he did, he thought this country singer was not that big. <laughs> and he kept saying to him, you know, it's a really hard genre. You got to keep working at it. Everything's going to be OK. Just make sure you really stay on top of things. And then he le- leaves the bar and his friend in the car goes, do you know you were talking to Luke Bryan? He's like, dude, let me out now. <laughs> That's what I mean when I say he's not a real person. Person. Like, and he just gets so drunk, as do we, but he 
he's a magical fairy running around <laughs> and everything he does is just like ah, la, 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 la. there's a video of us rolling off of the couch together mm-hmm. and I'm pretty he said, sure he said that's the only way you can get off yeah he, he pushed me down onto the couch and I said whoa and then I was I was stuck there and he said the only way to get off is get, we both have to roll off <laughs> dude he's insane okay at the last bar this is all love Connor but at the last bar me and Zach are dancing having a, a sweet moment there's like no one at this bar Fibula's watching from the corner <laughs> He steps out of his chair, he comes over, he goes, takes my hand out of Zach's, goes, my turn, hee <laughs> hee, and then starts dancing. Zach's like, what is wrong with this dude? I'm like, what is, I don't want to dance with you right now. And then he's like, okay, all three of us, this is all three of us. See, that's what I would have got into, and I didn't want that that night. <laughs> um, yeah, so in the best way possible, not a real person. Yeah, yeah. Um- Connor's in his cuck era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's epic, man. Um, but he was our first guest and it was awesome. And Chicago was awesome. Dude, he called me the next day. He said, dude, what happened? Everything cool? I said, yeah, everything's cool. Just might want to call a few people. <laughs> Dude, he kept texting me, please, man. Did you, you answer t-? him? Of course. He was freaking out. Of course I did. He never texted me. And then I was the one texting him. And I was like, everything's going to be okay. There's every, no bad blood. Everything's okay, Connor. Everything's okay. And he's like, you have to remind me. And he, he's texting me yesterday. I've been rereading your text saying everything's okay once a day so that I do not kill myself. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Been there. No, oh, dude. It looks like he touched some grass this weekend, so that's yeah. good. He seems to be okay. Yeah. He got, looks real, I guess, now? Yeah. yeah. I, it's, it's opposite of what I did. Yeah. I just I just slept. I can't stop sleeping. You know what's insane? We're supposed to be playing pickleball with the cast of Hamilton right now. The cast of Hamilton. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we insane. signed up for a um, uh, fucking tournament for a chari- threats. A charity fundraiser, which I really wanted to do. It was supposed to be in, in Central Park and... Uh, then all the floods happened, mm-hmm. so it got switched to Brooklyn, and we got back, and we were geared up. We are ready to go. Yeah, I bought paddles and shit. <laughs> I bought a shirt that says pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were actually really ready. I was stoked. Uh, but we're incredibly sick. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. I know. Dude, These are two guys who can't play pickleball also, right now. Also, nine games of it. Oh nine God. fucking games. Dude, we would have dropped dead. Like I said, my toilet's broken, so I would have shit on the court. I've mm-hmm. been holding things in. Grace can't asleep. keep her eyes open. I would have fallen asleep. Your lungs would have collapsed. Oh, that's a fact. My, I think I only I have one lung. For. Oh, also, the last episode. Are you guys fucking idiots? What? All the comments. Gr- Grace really had to ask Brie if she could oh, vape. Oh, my God, guys. That was thought, literally the funniest joke. I thought we were all on the same page of being funny. Yeah, guys, come on, seriously. There was comments. I just can't believe that Brie wouldn't let Grace vape. I was I, blowing O's the whole episode. I think there was one point where was, I think there was one comment where it was like, oh, maybe Brianna's pregnant. Like, yeah. I can't vape so she can vape because she's pregnant. And then all the comments right. were, yeah, secondhand <laughs> smoke is really real. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I I was blowing O's in one of the clips. <laughs> Grace was just kidding. Said, "Mind if I vape?" And I'm I just said, joking no. around. You I guys. said no, and then put my vape in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Y'all guys need to figure that shit out, man. Well, so. Got up, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was Chicago, and it was kind of epic. Yeah, dude, Chicago was actually epic, not well, kind of. I hope we feel better by Friday because we're going to SZA. Oh, that's on Friday? Mm-hmm. I hope to God I feel better. I know. If not, it's okay. I'll go by myself and cry. Mm. Mm. I would never do that to you. Look at I'm right here right now. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> almost like we have to be here <laughs> for our job. I'm just sick, though. Oh, we have a new studio. Oh, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, guys. We didn't even tell you. It's way better. We actually have our own room now. Our last studio was like a rolling set where we switched off with other people. And like we had to like kind of book a time slot to use. So now we're, I'm going to do BFFs in here. And... We have ours, and it's black wall, so I think the lighting is better for us, yeah? I'd say so. Do we look beautiful? I'm not sure of it today. Grace is a bird watcher on the Upper East Side. That's what my shirt says. Thank you, Coney Island Picnic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, imagine being a bird watcher. Yeah, I could. You would do that? Yeah. I was actually... You, you would love that. Well, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to buy some binoculars. I know it's weird. To look in people's windows. Yeah, because of the freaking hotel that we were staying at, there were so many different lives being lived across the street. So this is called stalking people. Mm, not if you shut the lights off and you don't get caught. Okay, so that's <laughs> called getting away with murder. Mm, it's kind of perverted, too. <laughs> I know. But dude, oh my God. Remember that weird movie with Sydney Sweeney where they would like watch people have sex across yeah, I don't think the I ever way? Saw that one, I started it and I was like, I feel like a pervert mm-hmm. watching this. I don't want to feel like a pervert, but 
Sometimes I want to be perverted. I love, more I love looking in people's windows. I love okay, it. Okay, in New York, the best. In Boston, the <laughs> okay, best. All right, listen. I, clickering was awesome okay. because I got to go and look in people's windows. If you don't know what clickering is, <laughs> it's we would run around the neighborhood with a clicker, which is also a remote, oh, yeah. uh, a TV remote. And you go up to people's windows when they're watching TV and you type in 666 <laughs> or you type in like 420. Or if there's like a big game on, you just shut it off. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone goes, what the hell? What the hell's going on? J- John, are you doing this? Yeah, wives start blaming their husbands. Husband starts <laughs> blaming their wives. Then things get dark and you have to run away. <laughs> we caused several divorces. Yes, we did. <laughs> that used to be fun. But what, what we mean by looking in people's windows <laughs> is when you walk around New York, it's just nice to see, like, you, everyone keeps their windows open. Like, yeah. someone's cooking dinner. Someone's fucking on the someone's couch. Someone's fucking. Oh, yeah. Someone's fucking. And if your window's open and you're fucking, you know what you're doing. I'm watching. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Allegedly, she is. Not anyone specific. I'm watching. Okay. She's watching. So Shut your blinds. That's I'm what, watching. So you don't want to bird watch. You just want to be a peeping Tom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's a little different. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. I'm just sicko. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is cool, though. <laughs> I can't I can't um, get into a relationship because I'm actually just a sicko. <laughs> sick in the head? I'm just sick in the head. Oh, Grace Every revealed time her I... crush at the live show. I did. Did that, that any repercussions of that? No. Oh, sick. Yeah, I was curious. Yeah, if you I guys... I feel like I spilled a lot of beans. Yeah, me too. If you guys want us to continue to tell super, super dark secrets on stage... Keep doing what you did in Chicago and don't post any of the videos. Yeah, that was huge, guys. Thanks so much. Yeah. Keeping, keeping our dark secret secret. Yeah, keeping it a buck. Yeah, truthfully and honestly. I'm looking right into the cameras. Thank you. If you've ever listened to Ice Spice's lyrics, yeah. they're pretty epic. They're pretty epic. Um, What's my favorite one? I got issues. <laughs> yeah, I got issues. <laughs> Dude, that's Dude, just epic. Listen to Smoking euphoric. That Zaza, I'm like a hippie. Come Dude, on she's now. so good. Shitting on bitches my hobby. I'd be going dumb and I'm feeling euphoric. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Dude, can we I just... I felt that in my fucking bones. Put, can we put that on a shirt? Yeah. Please, Ice No, Spice? I don't want to really like steal from... Ice Spice. We could, She's like, got so much money, Dude, that's bro. what I'm saying. We got to rap. We got to learn how to rap. <sighs> we don't need to learn. No, you remember it's that? It's not that we have Freestyle? to learn. Yeah. It's that we have to keep pushing out rap songs. <laughs> okay, so let's keep pushing out rap songs. I'm wicked sorry for everything today. It's okay. Are you gonna, do, you wanna, just... do you want to do this stuff in the news? Yeah, let's do this stuff in the news. Okay, wait. Actually, this is... I keep seeing this all over TikTok, the Courtney and Kim drama. Yeah, They dude. hate each other. Yeah, it's crazy. Hate each other's guts. Kim's I, crazy. Or is Courtney crazy? No, I think it's Kim. Okay, I haven't no. seen the clip. Oh, shit. Wait, I feel like I have so much thoughts about that. Yes. What do you think about that? I think that... Um, Kim can be a cunt. Yeah. Um, in the sense of all, all of all of what she just said for no reason at all. Okay, but to for your sister to sit there and be like, you came to my wedding and you're you weren't happy for me, how can you tell someone how they feel? Because did you even see her at her wedding? She wasn't. But like C- Courtney's a miserable bitch. So is Kim. I know that's what I'm like. I think they both fucking suck. I also think that Courtney um may have changed. In the sense, like, since she got married or, like, since she's been with What's-His-Face. Yeah. Because of the way they're talking, like, in a, like, a past tense way. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, like, ever since, like, we're just worried about you. Like, because she probably doesn't answer and she's probably, like, just with him all the time because they're all freaking weird. Yeah, and they're having Vampires. sex in, in everyone's face. But, <laughs> like, fucking, she was, Courtney was kind of contradictory where she was like, you weren't happy for me. And then Kim was like, well, you're not happy. And then Courtney was like, well, you can't say that. And she's like, but you just told me I'm not happy. (laughs) So they're both doing the same thing. Yeah. And they're both narcissists. Yeah. The whole family is Well, Courtney wants nothing to do with her family. She's been saying that for years. She said, I don't need you guys anymore. Anymore. Keyword anymore. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So she's like, I was just have I was just playing along to get famous and rich, and now I don't need you because now I have Travi. I'm a vampirist. <laughs> uh, crazy though. Clearly, okay. Kim didn't have to say it, but when you're fighting with your sister, you're gonna say everything yeah, that you can true. say. Too, we have to remember they are sisters, guys. They're sisters. They're sisters. So you're gonna say is the most hurtful thing you can say. Mm-hmm. But if my you, kids. I know, but if you <laughs> if all of your friends and your kids are coming to Auntie Kimmy saying my mom's crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, I don't know, your kids, your best friends, your sister, your whole family is like, we're worried about you. Mm. Maybe they're doing it out of love. Yeah. I, yeah. Like if, dude, if uh, if I was talking to your sisters. Yeah. 
And I was talking to our friends being like, dude, something's wrong with Grace. <laughs> like something's not like it's because we're worried about. You. Yeah. Yeah. So clearly they care enough to. I don't know. But I, I don't think it's a side chat saying this dumb bitch. But yeah. No, I don't it's think more it's like, like that. oh, like, God, what are, what's wrong? What mama? is going wrong with her? Mm. I don't know. It seems like a family issue that shouldn't have been on television. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that that. Their show's so sick, bro. I know. I can't stop sh- keeping up with them. They show it all. <laughs> I know. Which is really cool. They got us with the views. But I wonder why, if Courtney doesn't need them so bad anymore, just stop doing it. Signed a contract. Yeah, I might have signed a contract. Might, like, I don't know. That's tricky. She really doesn't want anything to do with them. She said, you're a witch and I hate you. I love that. You're a, wit- and you're are a you, witch and I hate you. Are you happy? Not when I'm on the phone with you. <laughs> yeah, that was epic. That's epic. <laughs> I was happy two seconds ago. <laughs> Until you called me. But then Courtney always ends up crying and I'm like, uh, then I feel bad for her. But I don't know. They seem both fucking insane. Yeah, they're sisters. Yes. Must it, we forget. <laughs> insane sisters? <laughs> insane sisters. Shock it up to the insane sisterhood. I will like to say I would love to see them fist fight again. I can't. Yeah, dude. That was so good. Let's settle this. Can we settle this in the ring? <laughs> Rough and rowdy. That'd be absolutely <laughs> epic, bro. So Fucking whose team are you on? <coughs> Chris's. Mm. The only team you should be on ever. Mm. She just wants the best for her girls. Does she? Or she I wants can't the best believe for her wallet. It. Did you know? Okay, this is like the most ridiculous thing, and I'm sorry. No, say everything I'm you want to say. Sorry, <clears throat> but fucking Chloe on the on the most recent episode, they go to Cabo. There's whales. The whales are too close to the shore. Mm-hmm. She's petrified of whales. They see whales pop up, and she starts like like having a nervous breakdown. Mm-hmm. They can't get you. Just looking at a whale like fucks you up. Wait, she's on the shore. She's she's in the in their penthouse mansion. Oh, okay. And looking out at the whales, saying, "I can't even take it. I can't even take it." Oh, I thought she was on a boat, and I was gonna be on her side. Yeah, no, I would be too. She's up in the sky in her penthouse. Mm-hmm. Well, is she thinking I gotta get in that water tomorrow? She doesn't have to go in there if she doesn't want to. She was freaking out, like crying, like losing a goddamn mind. In on the land, scared of the whales. Mm-hmm. So she's on the land. She's, she's got a fear thing of whales. If they if they even bring up the word, she freaks out. Okay, listen, I'm not one to tell you about your fears. You're okay. You're safe. Hmm. Maybe she's afraid of her past life where she was a whale. Is that a fat joke? Yeah. Oh, that was mean. <laughs> that was a good one, though. She's skinny now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't agree with this. I don't either. Uh, um, As a fat woman, I can make the joke. Next yeah. subject. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, so, I'm mean when I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was mean. Um, Kourtney Kardashian posts receipts. Oh, she posted stuff? Kourtney Kardashian posted receipts to refute her sister's claim that her friends are talking trash behind her back. Oh, God. She's posting the receipts. If you're posting the receipts, then you really hate your sister right yeah because you're publicly receding shit yeah and she said okay here's the thing though she said she doesn't fucking care and she can take all of her sides out of the show why post the receipts if you don't care she wants to make kim look crazy okay are you okay this is from jenna are you not courtney group text with kim courtney responded i believe it was just my sisters from the surveys i've been taking are those friends on the not courtney group chat because if so we don't need them here courtney responded no the members of that chat are named kim chloe kendall and kylie case closed so is her a whole family talking about her Mm -hmm. and then here is the screenshot of the group uh should i start a uh, soft launch from the yas courtney group chat OMG, please, these trolls keep DMing me, accusing me of being on the other chat. I'm like, only if they knew our anxiety about meaningless, endless chit chat. I mean, ever a martini, we will debrief. Over a martini, we will debrief. But, eh, but dang, for a group chat that didn't exist, I'm fidgeting. Kim threw us all under the bus when there was not one actual friend in the chat. I don't know. That still doesn't get, doesn't say that there's not a chat. That's just people saying, oh That's my God. That's just people lying to her face. Yeah. Also, why don't they swear? Uh, because they're so PC, dude. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. This is all weird. And you should just give it up and leave it leave it on the show. Those things don't post it. You know what's crazy? That was a six minute conversation on the phone that we were intrigued by. I was really intrigued there by it. There was no other end. There was no other. There was no music. Yeah. No, I was in. just like listening. I dude. felt like eavesdrop. Dude, I, I love eavesdropping. I, I love know. being you a love spying on people. <laughs> but actually, imagine how hurtful that would be for your whole, whole family. Your mom and all your sisters have a group chat about you. Yeah. No, thank you. That's yeah. awful. Uh, no wonder she seems like a bitch. Yeah. You're mean to her. Everyone's being mean to her. 
Okay. But she might have, bless you, but she might have been switching up. So I don't know. Maybe mm. there is a warranted group chat. Who Sometimes we, to know? we always oh. say, hey, don't say it on the internet. Just have a group chat with your friends. Yeah. And we, we do be saying that. We do. And you know what? I stand by the group chat, but you don't have to tell the person about the group chat. Yeah, that's crazy. That's mean. That's high school shit. Yeah, we all have a group chat about you. Oh, I know. What the fuck? Like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, high school. Crazy bullshit. Okay. I don't know whose side I'm on. I'm on the side of love. There's an amusement park nightmare. A Canadian amusement <laughs> park broke down and the passengers were stuck upside down for 30 minutes, 75 feet up in the air. That's like a Tuesday. <gasps> oh, that's them? Oh, my God. Oh God. Upside down on a axe hammer? How would you feel? Um blood rush to my head how's i feel <laughs> how would you feel i think i would feel like um would you have a panic attack <coughs> probably see this is where chloe's pa- panic attack is warranted there's no whales in sight oh my god 30 <laughs> minutes i would just be thinking dude whenever i go on a roller coaster i always get scared that because i saw remember that lady at six flags got her leg chopped off yeah dude dude there was a I, everyone remembers probably so because it was scarring fair. at least of our childhood she went up on one of those shoot up towers and then the cable wrapped around her leg and fucking took her leg off but i always think when i go on roller coasters the ones that come over you that it's just gonna give up that's what i'd be thinking up there oh yeah mine's definitely going when you go to amusement park you don't sign anything do you could you sue for migraine yeah i would sue i want to be in a situation where i could sue like what i don't know how bad do you want it to get before you sue like i want to get I wanted something like this, like, or I'm in a stop and shop and like no one puts up a wet water sign and then you slip and just crack your head, crack your head open. OK, yeah. what, what, how how bad would you go? Like, how bad would I get hurt? How bad would you get hurt in order for to get a good money sue? A settlement? Yeah. Like how like we're talking five million. How bad am I getting hurt? Mm. I'll break a couple bones. OK. Irreversible bone damage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. How for five million? How, uh, maybe, yeah. How much would you do? How much would you go? Free. Free for irreversible pain. For funny story. For chronic pain. Make money off later back end. Here's the thing about <laughs> us. We're indestructible. So yeah, this will never happen to and us. Nothing's ever going to get to me. Mm. I'm going to end up in a wheelchair by the end of the week. We're just for saying that out loud. Oh, I know. Maybe. Knock on some wood. Us. There's an emotional support alligator. No way. Yeah. Wait, I see this guy everywhere. <laughs> what do you mean? Dude. Yeah. It's kind of sick. So he has a little alligator that's super nice to him and he brings him everywhere and he cuddles with him. I've like watched a whole documentary on this guy actually like years ago okay. and he brought it to the what? Phillies game. What would you do if you saw this at a Phillies game? Stomp on it. Oh, Grace. What? It's an alligator. Ah, Ugh, it's kind of, ah, it's a dinosaur. I know. It's kind of big get though. That, get that dinosaur out of here. Would you try to pat it? No, I'd stomp on it. Like <laughs> I said, I thought you said you would get any damage for free. You could sue that motherfucker. No, because that guy doesn't like. I'm not trying to sue a, just a man. I'm trying to sue a major corporation. Yeah, it's got to be a major corporation. Okay, so you'll just you... kill his emotional support animal. I didn't know. <laughs> how am I supposed to know it's his emotional support animal? There's I think an his alligator shirt says at the Phillies game. Dude, I... look how cuddly he is. It's weird. Oh, to me. dude, I wonder it's what. Really weird to me. I wonder what animal he is in his past life. All right, guys, quick commercial break. We're on tour this fall for our live show tour with our friends at Southern Comfort, and we're going from a rave to a kickback. So we used to go in our crazy parties, and we would do SoCo Sour Shots. Everyone would absolutely love them. Now we get to have our awesome live show, and we get to celebrate with SoCo uh, Sour Shots. And we do this segment, which is super cool. At each live show, we do So Tasteful, where we talk about our So Tasteful moments, which are really our most embarrassing moments. And you guys in the audience at each show, you get to uh, submit videos about your So Tasteful moments. We pick our favorite two, and we bring you up on stage and you get to tell the story in front of the whole live audience the last show was awesome we had a girl that got covered in absolute shit and then we had a girl that ran over a guy that she was about to hook up with which was just was insane you have to be there uh to get the full stories but that's why we're even more excited for this tour so we'll be sitting back and looking back on those so tasteful moments that you get to laugh at so make sure to try soco sour it's one part soco two part sour mix we love southern comfort uh in this house we haven't tried it yet make sure to you can try the soco sour one part soco two part sour sour mix uh right now so make sure to check it out at southerncomfort.com let's get back into the episode he is yeah he's just he was born into the wrong body mm-hmm. he was he was supposed to be a dog oh my god he was supposed to be my little baby 
baby. Yeah, we were just born into the wrong body. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I think it's kind of nice. It's actually really sweet now to see more. So of he it. wouldn't stomp on his head anymore. I didn't know him. Okay. If he, dude, literally, if you're seeing an alligator, crocodile, what? I don't want to misgender him. Um, he's an alligator. An alligator. I think. When I see the alligator <laughs> at the Phillies game, I'm going ah. Yeah. And I'm stomping on his ass. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think I would just think I'm tripping balls. I just have to protect myself That's and my true. friends. <laughs> so you would kill it. What if what if the alligator came from Be- Beoston? <laughs> I would kill it. Yeah, right. But you're just killing it out of pure fear. Fear. Mm-hmm. Because there's an alligator at the Phillies game. You I don't understand. It's not it's like no one oh, it's so aggravating when people are being silly. But he has a leash on are it. Are you like why is this leashed alligator here? I'd be like, oh, this is probably a reptile show at halftime. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> it's probably someone's emotional support alligator. Well, no. he does wear a shirt that says, this is my emotional support well, alligator. What if he's too slow to catch up with them? Mm, I think alligators are slow, at least this one. I just like don't stand by whatever you're saying. Okay, I just stand by this alligator because I watch a documentary about him and I really feel for him. He has feelings. If he was at the Phyllis game and it came out of nowhere, I'm stomping on his ass. I'm scared. My first thought would be, oh my God, that's that alligator from that documentary I watched. Yeah, Yeah, it (laughs) would be. It would be. I really really like this guy. I don't know his name though. I like him now, but emotionally scared before that. Vegas fear is sick. Have you seen this place? Dude, got to go I there. No, I can't believe it's U2. Okay, so the Sphere in Vegas is like this new fucking venue, and U2 is opening it up, and they have a bunch of shows, and it is Shroom's Heaven. Dude, it's Shroom's Heaven. Imagine, I mean, come on now. Imagine going to Fred again in this. Dude. I know. This I mean, is like the sickest thing I've ever seen. Did you see there was one clip with like all the codes that come down and then yes. the dude, it is so surreal. I want to go here so fucking dude, bad. The, I wonder how long U2's uh residency is. Until Til December. December. And then all do we right. know who's next? Oh, look it up, Hannah. Dude, we... All I could think of was, like, how long they'd have to take on the graphics. Because the graphics are half the show. I, I mean, you gotta like, make sure this, this is, is probably like, the whole show. Yeah. I don't think anyone's listening, dude. I would. I did see that, like, somebody was, um, like, way, way up top, and you can't see them at all. You can only see the screen. I don't think you care to see, though. I think when you go to this, you're paying for the experience. Which is wild that U2 is doing a residency because it doesn't really matter who's there. I, I know. I think people are just going to go mm. and they don't really care if it's U2. Um, but U2 just fucking keeps wrestling their way into people's lives. Remember when they wrestled their way into our phones? To our iPods? Yeah, that was crazy, That U2. was insane. And I actually give them a lot of credit. Bye-bye. That's called um, uh, that's called conniving, working hard, and taking a gamble on themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. I, I really appreciated them for that, but it was insane. <laughs> and I think they should have got in trouble for that did they not uh, yeah no they just accessed their phones no problem no fucking problem so yeah now they they wrestled their way into the sickest arena of all time it's co- well you two is a very big band rumor is harry styles is gonna be at the sphere next no shot no shot No shot. because he's not a is he a, he's not a graphics guy though but neither no, is you yeah, two he was yeah he was yeah but like that's sick it was i don't know Maybe oh my wants God. to try something new. I would, would do be like game time. I would do insane things to Dude. be at that show. I know, right? Oh my God. Jesus. Who would be your top top three that you would want to see in the Rufus. Sphere? Rufus. Um, Fred again. Yeah, Fred again for me for sure. And then uh Oh, Lady Gaga could be sick. Lady Gaga could be sick. I don't know if that's top three though. I don't think I'm trying to think visually three. pleasing. Fred again, I'm going. Harry Styles could fuck hard. Yeah, Harry Styles could be really cool. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh my God, what are we even thinking? Dude, what are we even thinking? <laughs> well, what Obviously. Are we even thought? They're visual guys. <laughs> They're visual guys. Dude, picture Flea with his balls out on Dude. the fucking screen. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's epic. I don't have the peep for that. Oh my God, dude. Wow, okay, yeah, that's pretty sick. That'll be awesome. Right. I can't wait for that. <laughs> I can't wait for that. You guys are going to have to get there. Uh, oh, I'm so oh. sick, Brianna. It's Dude, crazy. it's going to be okay. We're almost done. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I got good news for everybody what? on the internet. Everybody Everyone in the world. What the hell's going on? That troll face got uh, eradicated from TikTok. Eradicated? Mm -hmm. She got banned. Count gone. Dead. That's huge. So clap it up for that. Clap it up for the world. Oh, wow. We can sleep at night. For the world. (laughs) I want to say that I should take credit for that. Yeah, great job. Because when I posted my video on her, she started blowing up and then people started making so much hate. Not hate about her. Just like there was so much uh, buzz around how terrible of a person she was. Mm -hmm. And then she got banned. 
Let's go right so, here, dude. Um, taking out the bullies world, dude. one by one. Well, we fucking did that together yeah, as a let's team. Go, Boston. Boston's like, let's get it, bitch. <laughs> oh, dude, I accidentally fucking doxed myself. Yeah, you did. I posted a picture of Boston, and uh, she got a new caller yesterday with her phone, my phone number on it. Posted it. Mm, how and many texts you got? Just a lot saying. There was <laughs> one text saying it was so funny. Um, uh, this is very uncharacteristic. I'm sorry if this is very uncharacteristic of me, mm. but I think this is your number and you leaked it online. And I was like, <laughs> you're so sweet and you have to be young because this word doesn't <laughs> make any sense. Uncharacteristic. <laughs> this word doesn't make any sense. It was thank me, you. honey. <laughs> I know, thank you so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, having a dog is like having a baby. Yeah. Yeah. It's really crazy. Tell me about it. Dude, it's just like wow I'm, you gotta really make sure your baby's okay and I'm just so hyper hyper focused on what she's chewing mm. and that she's gonna choke mm. so I just watch her every move she makes like this whoa where are you going what are you doing <laughs> dude and I was going to the store to get her shit bags this morning oh it was terrible I felt like a really bad person what the hell so she didn't have any shit bags because I left them on the plane and uh, I was walking her this morning to go get the shit bags we're in the middle of a fucking busy sidewalk mm -hmm. Boston puckers her ass up oh gosh big huge wet semen shit right. in the middle of the fucking <laughs> dude the middle of the concrete I'm going fuck out loud I'm going fucking fuck I don't have fucking anything oh, shit. and this lady oh this old lady in a walker and I walk away I'm like I'm gonna go get a bag I'm gonna go get a bag and this lady goes you have to pick that up I'm gonna slip in it in her fucking walker oh, and I just walked away I was like ah did you say I'm gonna go get the bags and I wanna know what I did I wanna got the bags came back smeared everywhere oh mm. And everyone's looking was at me granny like... granny on the ground? Dude, granny was not alive. <laughs> dude, <laughs> killed a grown, uh, elderly woman. I have to go to prison. An elderly. <laughs> I have to go to prison. But, dude, I was just looking at the shit, like, with her in one hand and my bag in the other hand going, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It was smeared everywhere. Oh yeah, and the second I got home last night, we step into my apartment building. Fucking shit everywhere. Shit everywhere. God. Yeah, she got into my bag of donuts, too, at the Oklahoma house. So <laughs> yeah, having a dog's fucking insane. So if you get a dog, just be ready. You know that it's a dog. It's yeah. like a little baby. Yeah. Um, but it's really fun. Oh, oh she heard me talking. Bless you. I love you so much. Puppy time. She's freaking adorable, man. I know. She's, she's so my cute. First time meeting this girl. She's perfect. And she sounds like a little piggy. Um, <laughs> dude, this is actually insane. The New York floods. I want everyone to see this. <laughs> and <clears throat> I saw a funny TikTok that I want to talk about after this. What happened? Was it just torrentially downpouring? Yeah, I mean, we, we live on a, an island. It's also full moon. Oh, shit. Full moon tides. I'm, I'm learning. Right now, I'm learning um, from my earpiece that the full moon and the tides. You know, I want to know that I asked a stupid question that I don't know if it is stupid. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Are werewolves real? No, mama. No, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know. But okay, so werewolves. Werewolves are real. Are like, are, Wait, werewol are werewolves? Well, werewolf people aren't. <laughs> are werewolves. werewolves are real. Wolves. Wolves are real. Oh, wolves are real. I werewolves are not real. No, I know wolves are real, but are there, is there, are werewolves real? And then there was this thing made up that werewolves, that's not sounding like a <laughs> right. That werewolves turn into people. That's not real. But do werewolves actually exist? I don't think werewolves are real. We're going to, we're going to get to the bottom of this, don't you worry. Are werewolves real? Are you going to fly away? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn into a werewolf. So they are exist. So are werewolves real? As far as werewolves this is from actually today. being com. real and living among us, says that, that, oh, okay. So maybe one day they were real. Like mermaids? Mermen. Okay. Okay. So werewolves are not real. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was just a big topic because there was a full moon and I was like, there's going to be a werewolf. Okay. So yeah, that guy's not real. <laughs> so werewolves are not real. I'm really understanding that, that now. That thing on the back of the plane is not real. The so werewolves are not real. Oh, I saw Saw 5 this weekend. Mm. Insane. <laughs> Everyone has to see it. In oh, fucking scene. Oh, Do you remember so the Saw movies? Thinking about it. Do you remember the Saw movies? <laughs> yeah. No, I've never seen them. Do, really? No. You've never seen one Saw movie? No. Even as a kid, went to get terrified? No. Oh my God, we have to watch them. I'll watch them. Dude, spooky season is among us. It's October. <laughs> it's your birth month. Oh my God, let's fucking go. I love spooky stuff. Dude, I love spooky stuff. <laughs> and dude, we were like, we have to go to the movies and see Saw 5. And I was like, I haven't seen... Dude, they're so fucking crazy, man. Everyone's head was getting chopped off. Okay. They show it all. It's crazy, dude. And there's all these plot twists and like, it's shot like a CSI no way. show. No, it's crazy, Grace. It's so stupid. And then it gets so good and there's blood and guts everywhere. everywhere. And you would love it. It, dude it's so <laughs> epic I love that? because spooky stuff is great and it's I spooky do. season and you lead the movies being like 
I can't believe people paid money to go sit in there and watch this. What are we Together. all doing here? This is weird. This is disturbing. It's disturbing. It's uh-huh. really disturbing. So you have to see it. I'll go see it again. Okay, let's go Creepy see it. Oh, me. should we go see it in the 4DX where we feel like we're getting stabbed and murdered? Oh my God, that yeah. That could be crazy. Oh my God, smoke a little pot. <laughs> I gotta wait for my mouth to clear. Dude, want to, want to talk about August? I'll just talk about it. Um, remember that time we got super stoned? We went to the movie theaters like right when COVID ended, oh. and it was like the first time you could go back into the movies. I think uh, we hadn't been in the movies in a year and a half. Yeah, and we love the movies. We're movie girls. Love the movies right here. We always go to the movies. Um, but we haven't movies in a while. I know we have to go see Saw Five together. <laughs> um, uh, so we go to the movies like the first time it opens up, and we're like. In our stoner eras a little bit, we're smoking pot, smoking, oh, smoking on that cream. Pot. Dude, so, I love calling it pot, too. Dude, man. me too. It's hilarious. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I have some pot on me. It's me, Grace, and my cousin, Mego. And <laughs> it's pouring rain out. We're like, let's walk and smoke this pot. Dude, I felt pretty gangster. Smoking dude, pot in the big old city, dude, walking and talking. I know. And we got, we walked like fucking, I don't know, 15 blocks to smoke mm. all this pot. <laughs> and we had too much pot on us. And we we're like, we got to smoke it all before we get in there. <laughs> By the time we get there, we're paranoid fucking as all hell. We yeah, go into the movie theaters. Pot. And we're like, dude, we smoke so much pot we're so hungry <laughs> but we have to order this popcorn we can't talk can't so talk. this is the the snack counters right here we're standing right in front of it like six feet in front of it <laughs> people are looking at us like there's no one in line they're like you guys ordering we're all sitting there saying who's gonna do it who's gonna do it i can't talk are you gonna talk who's gonna do it who's gonna <laughs> go up there exactly what we look like and then we kept saying i'm too high on pot and then we take one step closer we'd turn around walk the other way and then we'd be like dude no we're too hungry we gotta get snacks and then we made my sacrifice my little cousin megan who was Wait, also did we make her do it we said you have to do this you have oh, no. you're staying at our apartment you have to get our popcorn and she Big went up evil there sisters. she went up there she goes i remember she goes can i get two larges and they were like of what <laughs> <laughs> she said pepsi <laughs> wait she comes back at two larges and at this movie theater the pepsi so oh, like they were so big so ginormously comically I think huge all fucking movie theaters why are they so large dude i don't know they really want if you leave the movie theaters and you don't feel like you're gonna throw up you didn't do it right yeah but she comes back with these giant pepsis and we're like god i got popcorn she goes i asked for two larges <laughs> and then she went back up and said another large <laughs> and they were like what <laughs> indeed we got so high on pot i think we fell asleep in the movie theater what? What the hell are we saying? Do you remember? Old. old. Oh, oh, like the movie Old. I yeah. I meant like an old movie. No. <laughs> like, um, oh, gosh. I didn't that, know that what was the, the last time I really smoked pot. No. No way. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> but that's the last time I got high on pot. Oh. What? Yeah, I don't smoke weed anymore. Makes me sad. Shit, man. That's all right. All the shrooms. You definitely do be smoking weed, though. When's the last time I smoked weed? Yeah, I mean, you've smoked weed in the last three years. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I haven't got high. Oh, okay. I'll take a puff. All right. I cannot smoke weed anymore. It makes me... It, after feeling how nervous I was in that movie theater and not being able to talk to people, I was like, this is debilitating. I yeah. cannot do this. Why does that happen to us? Well, it's just when you smoke too much. We smoke way too much pot. We smoked way too much pot. Listen, kids, we were off the rails on this pot. <laughs> oh god! Now I can just take a couple hits, and I'm like, all right. Oh, she's running in a dream. She has nightmares. Oh wow. Yeah. But can't be just happy ones where she's running in the meadows. No, she's having nightmares. No, she's one she of those saw dogs. Five. <laughs> oh come on. Oh no, she's the fuck did she? No, she didn't. Make her do that. <laughs> okay, want to react to these videos? Yeah. Oh, we already did. Oh, so the New York, <laughs> the New York floods. This was so funny though because a girl was like, "Whenever terrible things happen to New York or terrible things oh, happen yeah. to Florida, no one's like pray for New York. No one's like pray for Florida. They're just like fuck it. They'll be fine. This is they deal with this all the time. They'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, because like it's terrible. Oh my god, that's insane. That's coming out of the walls. Yeah. Oh my god. And the fucking fact that mine. My place was not flooded is like fucking a miracle. Dude, I was getting ready to be like, all right, we got to put our heads together. How are we going to get our apartment back to shape? Like, how do you do that? I don't yeah. even know. They, they, people say there's like renter's insurance. Oh, my God. Gross. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know what that is? <laughs> Murky water is one of my biggest fears. Mm. Not knowing what's in that fucking water. Somebody also made a really good point. Um, These motherfuckers in New York are just running around in these puddles. They could get electrocuted. Yeah. Like easy money. Easy. Electrocution zapped. Also the disease ridden fucking water. Mm-mm. Can you imagine what's in that? Poo-poo. <sighs> Caca. I feel like I drank Blood. some of that by accident because I'm so sorry. I feel like I drank it too. <laughs> I feel like if we drink it, we'll turn into werewolves. I think <laughs> you're 
right. Werewolves are real. And then we'll go on a saw killing spree. (laughs) (laughs) That is exactly what spooky season's about. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave. Get together with your best friend, drink some murk and water, and start killing people like Saw 7. You know what's crazy? (laughs) What? I get it. I get it that water goes away, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but it's just all gone. I don't get it. Where did it go? I don't get it at all. Where did it go? I guess in the drains? The drains were fucking... Oh, like, how did they get that back? I don't get it. I'm saying, and then did one second later, you come here all of a sudden, it's back to normal. I'm all geared up, like, oh shit. I gotta get my rain boots on. The cordia was all fucked up, so I'm like, damn it. How am I gonna get my bag? It's gonna come out and it's gonna float. I thought you were gonna have to swim home. (laughs) Yeah, me too, bro. Dude, dude, bro. And then the fucking streets are clean and shining bright. I was like, it smells like new city in here. Oh, pretty much. It was a clear. It was a clean out. Yeah, they just cleaned it. Yeah, God cleaned the city out. And the werewolves cleaned. The it was a full moon. The werewolves cleaned the city. It was mostly in Brooklyn. Oh shit. Mm. Oh well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Me too. God, God damn it. Because God forbid it. If it wasn't. <laughs> God forbid it. <laughs> I was like, my dog's gonna drown. Oh my God, Brianna, that Carrie would be too Walker. much. She can't swim yet. No, you would have to stay in Jersey. You know, the first day I got her, what did you say? We were in the backyard in Oklahoma, and she just goes, "Oh, a pool." Runs full sprint, jumps in the pool in the deep end, sinks to the bottom. <laughs> what? It was insane. That's so it scary and awful. Wait, I know. I'm jump thinking, in. I'm thinking of like one of those honky tonk pools. No, no a, like big a legit pool, pool. Fourteen. It's like too deep for some reason. It's like an illegally deep pool, mm. and it's like fourteen feet deep. So Jack goes swimming all the time. Jumped in, and Boston's like, "I'm gonna try." Mm. She runs, jumps in like this, and then just down. I was like, "Is this real life?" That's the dream she's having right now. Drowning. Oh, no. I jumped in and got her, but drowning. It, it was absolutely insane. Oh my god. So that's her so dreams. Terrifying. So you gotta keep your eyes on her. That's what I'm saying at all times. Thank God I was had my eyes on her. What yeah. if I didn't? I would not have a dog. Oh, I'm thinking about the dog on the roof. What dog on the roof? I was just thinking about if you put her on the roof, I'd be so scared that she'd jump off. Oh, a roof in New York City? The New York dogs are they have so many t- obstacles. Oh my god, that they face. <laughs> they face every I know. Day. So do we. That's true. I think we're strong. <laughs> That's really I think true. we're gonna get through this. And you know what? Thank God we're not playing pickleball right now because we'd be dead. My God. We'd be dead. No one would be able to take care of this dog. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So have you ever gone onto WebMD or Google uh, to look up why you might have a headache only to end up down a rabbit hole, freaking out about a bunch of horrible uh, conditions that you don't even have? Don't panic. Grace, I'm talking to you because that's probably what she did today. And she thinks that she's going to die because she's not feeling well. She Googles, why am I dying? It tells her that she needs to go to the graveyard and die. So don't do that. We can help you with Caraway uh, Health. So Caraway is the care that you need in all one place. Their easy to use app offers physical, mental, and reproductive health care tailored to the needs of Gen Z. So with Caraway, you have unlimited 24 access to experienced care teams of doctors, therapists, psychiatrists, gynecologists, nurses, and health advisors. And you'll always have to uh, talk to a real person, not a robot, which is amazing. And there's so many different options. So it helps manage different health care concerns like getting medicine when you're sick, treating depression, or refilling birth control prescriptions, literally something for everything that you need. There are no long wait times, inconvenient hours, surprise fees, or Googling your symptoms. With Caraway, your health care is uh, integrated in one place, accessible wherever you need help. So right now, Caraway is offering the new members 30 days completely free if you go to caraway.health slash Brie. And there's no credit card required to try. So get free and unlimited access to chat with their care team for 30 days. That's C-A-R-A-W-A-Y dot health slash Brie for 30 days completely free. So Caraway is available in select states. Go to caraway.health slash Brie to learn more. Let's get back to the episode. Hmm. Okay, so here's the deal. You think we're gonna feel better by Wednesday? I hope to God. What are we gonna do? This this was a terrible. This was bad. bad First episode in the studio. Everyone's brain's broken. Yeah, dude. It's not even the brain. It's like the the actual like will to be alive is like a monkey in my brain going. You know. I know. I feel you. You I really feel you. I really. You know exactly what I'm saying. I know. I actually know exactly what you're saying. Is the thing. Like I totally fucking stand with you on that because that is so true, man. I feel terrible, and there's like a monkey in my brain, like boom, boom, boom. But like I said, I have to be strong for this thing. Mm -hmm. So I had to be here, and I had to be there because I had to wake up at five in the morning. You, on the other hand, got to drink your juice and be monkey in your brain no because i didn't choose a dog no exactly I didn't choose so a dog. i'd be happy for my baby mm-hmm. <laughs> and you'd be, be happy for, for your this monkey. baby <laughs> yeah so we do this together we're a team unit mm-hmm. we're going to scissor on friday and i hope we see you all there wow you can do it please i got this okay you got this i've been sleeping since friday okay. i should be fine i know i think we'll be fine in like two days mm-hmm. when the sleeping's gonna stop everything's gonna be okay i'm gonna go home my plumber's gonna be there hopefully he doesn't touch me 
Mm-mm. Plumbers are good guys. Listen, I had a bad experience with a, a couple. Plumber. Okay. What happened to you with your plumbers? Dude, remember I had a bad experience with a plumber? <laughs> no, I don't. You don't remember this? Uh-uh. All right. I had a bad experience with a plumber. What are you talking about? Dude, when I first moved into my building, everyone was showing up in, into my apartment and putting stuff in there, opening the door. I would come into my apartment. People would be in my apartment. Oh, park. yeah. There's a thousand people in there. There's a thousand people in my apartment. <laughs> there's, like, there's a painter. He I loved you. A I spectrum. I he loved you. Up for, dude, it was crazy, There's actually. a lot of people that were dude, hitting on you. My painter would text me <laughs> all the time. Then I had this guy, this spectrum guy. He was actually really sweet and awesome, yeah. but he came to do my... Actually, I don't want to... It doesn't matter. They're not going to find him. Um, I just don't <laughs> want him to get fired. Um, but he, he came and did my the electrical shit. He had to like put shit in the walls, whatever, set up my Wi-Fi, And he got my number somehow from like texting him to show up. And he would call me once in a while. And he like never wanted to leave. And he wanted to get coffee and hang out a lot. And then the people on my building would just come into my mm. apartment and leave me presents, yeah. leave me tables. <laughs> and I'm too nice. Yeah, to that be- was weird. I'm just too nice <laughs> where I'm going to get murdered. Saw five one day where I'm just like, yeah, come in. Whatever you want. Yeah, it's all yours. Uh, what's mine is yours. Just these random strange men. I got to be smarter about that. <laughs> it's like your brain it, huh? Yeah, I'm actually thinking, man, if my daughter did that one day, I'd be really like, you're a fucking idiot. I just stopped trusting people and I'm going to get a machete. Hmm. Easy as that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have I mean, any weapons to protect yourself? No, I was actually just thinking when my mom left the other day, she said, well, you start locking your door. I said, no. Wait, why don't you lock it? Don't need to. There's not, like, <laughs> nothing of value to steal. You? I'm fine. <laughs> if they want to kill me, that's cool. You see, and, that's my place. Dude, if you're going to die, you're going to die. <laughs> if you're going to die, you're going to die. Our, and, our fate's already lined up. Yeah. And guess what? I can fight them off. But no, they're not, not looking. Not today. You couldn't. You should lock your door today. Oh, I could have gone away. <laughs> Lovely woman. I thought that was a lady girl. I thought I hit a lady. Oh my god, she's hard in the chest. She's hard. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a lady holding something. I thought it was Hannah. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? Hannah? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you need to lock your doors tonight because you can't protect yourself. Cannot. You can't protect yourself. Dude, I, if ten drinks, red tape. 10 drinks in that last bar that we were at, I would have fucked that jukebox. <laughs> 100 percent stick my dick dude, in my, my eyes are crossed it literally looks like a bad little red thing <laughs> that is totally a hottie boston we dude, gotta get shit. out of here bad little redhead she got a damn what is those words i love you I wait spice. dude cross eyes you guys are twins <laughs> that's crazy shit oh my god that's crazy oh my god yeah um that's a huge school shitting on bitches my hobby i'll be going dumb and i'm feeling euphoric you got Bruh. anything else you want to add no can we please stop okay sorry grace is dying i'm wicked sorry guys i tried everything uh, we'll be back on <laughs> thursday and we love you guys so much and Mwah. yeah bye